Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to how we know we're alive. In the previous video, Sarah been asking around the town about Maria, about the night Maria died, what she did before she died, and where we left off is where Sarah is in Maria's bedroom to find clues, connecting everything together and find just you know we want to know what really happened to Maria so enough talk let's go she wanted to leave town too but Max died I mean Maria died oh I thought there was more to say we used to spend so much time up on that hill oh it's the same dialogue right okay it's the same dialogue Hmm, what's this? A system bola gate receipt for two bottles of vodka. Oh, wait, this is from... It is. It's from the day she died. She used to hate vodka. Why would she... I should go. I don't imagine Jacob wants me hanging around too long. Yeah, yeah, we should go. We should go. Oh my god, that scared me. We should go, we should go, we should go. Oh god, Jacob. Jesus. Must be quite nostalgic for you. No, Jacob is traumatic to me. The room, I mean. It was... Jacob. I hope you don't mind me asking. Where were you? And Johannes on that day? On this day last year? We were at a hockey game actually. Seems impossible to think about us enjoying ourselves that afternoon now. But Maria got us tickets to a hockey game. She usually comes too, but she said it was a special father-son treat. I'm so sorry, Jacob. <sighs> Thank you. It's... it's... Good luck back in the city. Thank you for having me. Oh, I want to see Johannes again. Aw. Hmm. Hmm. So on the afternoon that she died, Maria sent them off to a hockey game. Because she wanted them out of the way? This is insane. The police would have investigated the possibility that... That... Uh, but the police means Officer Nilsson. He easily could have just assumed it was a road accident without really thinking about the alternatives. Oh, we're heading to the police station? What's happening? Where are we going? Oh, we're not going to the... Oh yeah, there's nobody that we met that works in the liquor store. Hmm. Is there any new uh, noise board? Okay. Oh! Elsa! Oh my god, Elsa! Elsa? Yes, my dear? Can you remember... Mine like a still trap I've got. Don't let the wrinkles fool you. Um, did you happen to see Maria on the day she died? I did, I did. <gasps> oh, she did. Must have been one of those last people to do so, I would say. She was coming back this way. Funny look about her. What do you mean, funny? All sneaky looking? Mind you, I, I look sneaky too. If I was off buying great big bottles of alcohol in the middle of the afternoon, of course, it's easy enough to keep tabs on who's little too fond of the drink in these parts, standing here all day as I do. She had a system Bullet bag, didn't she? She did. Point Black refused to tell me that what she had all that drink for. I'm no busybody, you know. I do it for the public good. Aww, lady. Yeah, you're not like Gunnel. Fucking bitch. Okay, okay. Thanks, Elsa. Elsa, I love you. Bye bye now. Oh, she's so cheery. Oh, love you. Mwah. Okay, let's go. Hey, wait, where are we heading? Oh, thank you. 
Surely someone else has put two or wait. Surely someone else has put two and two together. I should speak to Lena. But why would she not have said if Hopefully she's still at the grave. And oh, we're heading to the grave now, got it. Oh Fuck you, Gunnel. Now bring your pace down. Oh, Philip! Oh my god, Philip, come. Give me a cigarette, man. I thought I might see you again. I'm kind of in a hurry. I... Cigarette? Yes! Oh, no thanks. Are you alright? You look... You seem... Just a little odd to be back there. I'm fine. I could have... How could I be all right? How could I be all right? No, quite right. None of us are today, really. Philip, do you happen to remember what were you doing on this evening last year? Do I remember? Goodness, I'm not sure how I could forget. Where were you when you were heard? Where? Has nobody... Gosh, no, I suppose you wouldn't know. I was at Maria's house. Huh. We all were. Oh, we all were. I mean, I was, and Johannes, and Jacob, and a few of Maria's other friends. Oh. What? Why? I wish I knew. It was all quite mysterious. She invited us all to come around that evening. But she wouldn't quite say why. What did she say? She said that all would be revealed, but we weren't allowed to know beforehand. So we were all there at 7, like she said. Of course, she never arrived. Instead, we got Officer Sten at the door with the awful news. Oh shit. What do you think you were all there for? It's odd. In all the shock of what happened, I haven't really thought about it much. I guess I assumed she wanted to tell us something. It must have been terrible. Of course it was, but it was it was strangely a kind of blessing that we were all together. I mean, almost as if she knew. I need to find Lena. No problem. Give her my best. Grave, right? Grave, grave. Going to the grave. Got it. Let's go to the grave. Oh my God, Stan, you're useless. I swear. I'm. I'm quite. Sus I got suspicious to have my. I have my suspicion on Stan. I mean, he was the first one in in the scene, so I don't know, man. I'm just assuming. Hello. I can't move. Oh. I could have helped could have stopped you. Why did nobody else stop you? How can I make it up to you? How sh what should I do? You deserve for people to know the truth. No matter how painful it is to hear. What? What do you mean? That's the same dialogue. Okay, never mind. I thought we were gonna head it. I thought the sister's in there. Oh, the truth. Oh. I don't know what she meant, but... Oh, okay. The She's moving by herself. Lena. Hello, Sarah. I need to talk to you. Are you alright? You look... No, no I'm not alright. I have to tell you something. I... Okay. Did you know? Excuse me? No. Okay. Okay. Sarah, what are you... Please. It's not right. What's not right? It's not right that nobody knows how... How terrible her life had become. Getting pregnant all those years ago? It just trapped her here. And stifled her dreams of getting out of here. And becoming a writer and seeing the world. And she spiraled deeper and deeper into this dark, horrible place. And nobody saw it. 
Nobody saw how bad things had become, even though it was right there in the things she wrote. I should have been there for her, but I wasn't. Nobody was. And when she got blind drunk and drove herself off the road, nobody knew her well enough to see what had really happened. How is that possible? I'm, s I'm sorry, I shouldn't be... This must be so hard to hear. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sarah, you need to calm down. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, re I'm really sorry. You should be. But calm down. I'm going to show you something. What? Just come with me. Okay, I'm not moving. What's going on? We're going inside the church? Yes. We're going inside the church. They won't kill you. Aww. Aww. Can I? I can't. Oh, this is beautiful and sad at the same time. There's an even song service tonight being held in her memory. I don't understand why are we look around. Look at all these candles people have lit. Flowers, letters, pictures of her. Did you think she wasn't loved? Is it missed by everyone in Harunya every single day? Mourned by countless people here that you've never bothered to get to know? But... No, Sarah. There is no but. You think... What? That after you left her here all those years ago that she just... Ground to halt? To a halt? Hmm? That her life here can only have been small and sad by comparison to yours? No, Lena. Let me... Let me explain the evidence. The evidence? Who do you think you are? Who do you think is happening here? And what do you think is happening here? Sorry. This is real life, Sarah. Real life in which my beautiful baby sister died in a car crash. A car accident. But why did she buy all that vodka? Vodka? What the hell are you talking about? The receipts in her room. For all that alcohol and the, the party, her gathering you all together so that when she died... For God's sake... The stuff that she was writing, those dark poems... What, writing about death means you're going to kill yourself? Whoa. How can you... The party... <sighs> Alright, I'll tell you what the party was for. She'd be working on a book. A novel, I guess. She hadn't let me read it. She sent samples to an agent who wanted to take her on. That's what the party was for. To share her good news. I... Yes. Why did Philip not know that? Philip? She only told me. I suppose I never did tell him... No, I, I suppose I never did tell him, no. We all had other things on our minds. But that's... That's wonderful. Many things in her life were wonderful, Sarah. It's a pity you hated this place too much to find that... To find that out. I'm... But then, why was she out of that road? Where was she going? Lena, look, please understand that there were two reasons I didn't share this with you before. Firstly, it's upsetting. And secondly, I didn't think you deserved to know any more about her life, to be honest. Please, Lena, where was she going? 
she was going to Stockholm. Oh no. Oh right, the cop said it was like an hour away. Uh, like a, a, an hour close to stop. Oh, that makes sense now. To find you. She wanted to... I don't know. Surprise you with her good news? She said you were stuck in your office all weekend. Oh yeah. So she was going to go shopping in the city and tell you her news in person. And then get back in time for the party. I told her it was a ridiculous idea, but she was really set on it. On sharing it with you. So, yes. That is why she was out on that road that day. Oh, Lena, I'm so, so, oh, shit. You are, why? Shit. I don't know what to say. I do. You thought it was impossible that living here could make someone happy. That having a husband and a son and a family could make someone happy. I'm... I'm so sorry. I thought I was doing the right thing. What, by coming up here to play detective? You saw what you wanted to see. And what you wanted to see was... Confirmation that you chose the right path. And she didn't. Lena, I'm so sorry. Don't be. It's too late for any of that. The service will be starting soon. Oh, shit. I think it would be best if you didn't stay. Oh. Fuck. This is awful. I'm so sorry, Lena. Goodbye, Sarah. Oh, please, can I... I think it's time for you to go, Sarah. No, let me... Oh, come on. Dude. Really? There's no way? Oh. Oh, fuck. That, 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 that doesn't make me feel good at all. I think we should go to the grave, right? I think that's the best thing. She's right. I should go. What? Come on. Dude, I don't feel good. Oh, dude. That's not even cool, man. Click anything else. Oh, Maria, I'm so sorry, babe. Oh, I, Maria, I'm. I have nothing to. I can't excuse myself. And it hurts because if you, if you were here, you would forgive me for all I. For all my selfishness, my stupidity, because you were, you were just the most, but Lena's right, I hardly knew you at all, but that's the thing isn't it, you aren't here. And if you were, none of this would have. And if I have been there for you, then you would might still be here. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to have deserved our friendship better. I'm sorry not to have deserved our friendship better. I love you. I can't believe I left it this late to make it clear. I really do. Even though I'm so bad at it. Goodbye, Maria. 
and congratulations too on the book. I bet it was beautiful. Sorry for being quiet, guys. I'm absorbing the story right now, and I, I'm not feeling good. <laughs> I'm not feeling good at all. That is just too much for me. What a guilt to carry around. What a burden. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sarah. I couldn't imagine how you feel about this. The guilt and all. Oh, we're on the... We're on the hill. feeling good about that actually that's awful oh Sarah she have to carry that guilt <laughs> mm. I don't know if I were Sarah I don't know what to do I couldn't imagine what she would do next I know it's all I know it's her anniversary of her death but if I were her in the next year, I... I will come again. I know the sister said don't come ever again, but... I don't know. It's so hard. Oh, Maria. I didn't think through when... I didn't think it much when the officer said that it was like close by to Stockholm. I didn't connect the dots until... Lena... The big sister said it. I was like, "Wow, oh, right." My suspicions was on the cop, but and then Philip because he said something else. Now, oh, dude, we, we as Sarah, we overthink that Lena was right. We just want to what 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 we want to see. You know, we want to believe what we've been believed. About the town, like, oh, it sucks, no one's gonna be happy here, but Maria genuinely was happy. Yeah, she got pregnant, yeah, she got a strict Christian family, sure. But she lived her life, like, awesome, like beautifully. Everybody loved her and missed her. And Sarah didn't know that until, and until she overlooked it and until Lena just say that to her face oh my god Sarah I couldn't imagine I don't know if I were Sarah I would have just keep on visiting Maria's grave no even though Lena didn't give didn't really give her blessing I know she just kind of like but still I was I don't even know why Sarah ignored her all those years ten years a decade I thought I remember it. she mentions like oh my god it's terrible well guys I hope I'm gonna end the video here I hope you guys enjoy that I know it's really sad I'm sad man I'm not really hype about the ending now <laughs> that is so sad 
But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, guys. Take care.